I, I feel like this does a good job of capturing how I feel in this in this place in the, in the place that I that we're gonna visit here in a second at least for a little bit in we're gonna just, spice we're just gonna spend some time there everybody falling into the black hole is everyone doing okay <laughs> everybody's great uh huh. How's the black How's the black hole treating you guys? I feel like I feel like I'm very much the the bottom right guy for as far as how the black hole is treating me. Um, that's where I'm at. I do love the I do love the face. Like it, I appreciate the like the spectral upper half. Uh huh. Of this person. Hey, his hands awesome. are spectral too. Yeah, and the hands actually look pretty decent. Like, those hands look passable. Huh? What about you? What What about you, Sean? This, <laughs> are you, where are you between these guys? Uh, I'm I'm this guy here with the backpack and the fucking rappel rope. I'm ready to fucking get in there and see what there is to see. Ah, uh -huh. what about what about you, Jackson? Uh, I would. You feel like this guy? To, I would love to be the sign that says "Super Rock Black Hole." Uh huh. <laughs> that's honestly that's a pretty that's a pretty good place to be because it seems that seems like some sort of like genre music instead of like trip hop. It's like super rock. Uh huh. Mm. Well, welcome to the stream, everyone. I'm your host, Isaac MC Canary. We're going to probably start off with some Celeste because it's the last room, and the last room could be done in the next 10 minutes or the next five hours. So we're just going to start there. Everybody introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Jackson, he, him, and I'm excited to watch Isaac suffer tonight. How dare. Hi, my name is Sean, also known as the Talking Skull, he, him, and I think Isaac's gonna fucking nail it. Thank you. See, somebody believes in me. See, if, I, if my brand was just suffering, then maybe, but it isn't, and I won't stand for... I, I won't stand for suffering without some success. I won't stand for only suffering without success. And Hydrate Man is here to make sure that we're ready too. Hi, Hydrate Man. Everybody drink. Suffering Who plugged in their controller? You son of a bitch. Oh, that might have been me. Whoops. Is I'm somebody? Sure. Hey, are you playing some generic RPG grindathon right now, Jackson? <laughs> some RPG that could have grind in the name. Oh what? my god. Man, that's that's not something that I <laughs> I or people similar to me would do. Also named me. Also welcome, Theta. I did a little bit I did a just a just a little bit of practice. And we're gonna immediately see the wall that I'm at now, I think. Because I went, how am I supposed to do any of this? And I got to about here, and now, and now, and now, and now. Oh, oh, hey, I did it. Oh, hey, I did it. Oh, hey, I did it. Hey, 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 hey! Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh, what? Oh, I see what I was supposed to do. What the fuck? And welcome, Silas, welcome, Theta. We're. we're 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 playing this for now, and I could be if I beat this in the next thirty minutes, then the stream is done. Yeah, I, don't, that's I never have to play video games ever again. What would you? What? This is not a hypothetical. For some reason, I was like, I made that stupid comment. What would be the video game that would be the last video game you ever played? You would never have to play another one. What? Why Silk Song? Yes! Oh, yes! Yeah, so it's, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. You know, I'm surprised you even took my stupid comment anywhere. Because, yeah, if a Chrome Hounds 2 came out, 
I would play it until it died and then never play video games again, Sean. Wow, how did you make a good bet out of my bad bit? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm actually really struggling. Cause like, like of course the obvious answer for 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 me at first was like, oh, some East game, but there's like ten of there's like ten of them now, so they're just gonna keep on going. Like, uh huh. So like. It what would be, be the penultimate East game for you? I mean, East 8 was already really good. I mean, it has heard, dinosaurs. It has dinosaurs, and there was, it has really cool island exploration. Like, it, it was it was a really good game, actually. Like, 10 out of 10 would recommend East 8. Um, <laughs> yeah, but like, the, the video game to end them all, for, for me? Oh, God. A good remake of 10. <gasps> Wait, good recon- uh, general. Uh, 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 what the fuck? The boy and rises. You, and you can slow- and you can, like, speed up or slow down with up and down. Oh, you can go down with down! Whoa! That took me a long time to learn. I, like, died, like, a bunch of times before I realized I could press up or down. Am I about to fucking beat Celeste? What the hell is going on, guys? It Get doesn't in there. stop! Get in. I'm scared! Get this in keeps there. going! Why is this so much up? This is so much up! This is so much up! Welcome, <laughs> Venom. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to the very end of the very <laughs> end of Soul. Oh no! Well. Welcome to the very end of this, of this <laughs> life. Welcome to the very end of this man's life. So far, we're on the ninth, the very end of the ninth chapter. I was not expecting to get yeah. that far on that last run. I am now, com that was complete instinct. I got into my, 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 my monkey ultra brain. instinct. I got into my monkey brain. I was, I was there. I saw it. I was there. I could have made it. And That's now it's good, time Mike. for the uh, inevitable sucking for the next 10 minutes as you oh, brain calibrates. Yeah. How what, dare you? I mean, it's just how it goes. Also, I it's got to calibrate. It's alright. Uh-huh. It's got to cook. Made, Let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> I did figure out my answer. Uh, it's not a specific game, but if they made, like... If they made, like, a really, really stinking good like VR MMO or something like that. I mean there's one, yeah, at least I mean, one that's out like there. a pipe dream thing, right? <laughs> you right, want Sword exactly. Art Online for real is what you're saying. You learned nothing. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> yeah. seen that show and you've learned nothing. <laughs> yeah yeah like uh, just jack me into the game uh, if I die in the game and die for real so on and so forth. Okay. Venom says please cook but try not to overcook. Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> I mean, I made it that far. That's pretty fucking good. That's like the farthest I've ever gotten, even though I know that's... I was like, yeah, you go up off screen like a little bit, and you go up so much more than I was anticipating. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting to go that much more up. <laughs> yeah, uh, I do think that's a great answer, though, Jackson. Like, yes. A true, like, high-quality VR MMO is the kind of thing that people have been daydreaming about since I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Since every single RPG anime has ever been made. <laughs> Before that. Yeah. A little bit. Um... Ooh. Fine. It's I fine. believe. Uh, yeah, and the reason why it would be the last video game as you played is because you learned nothing and you would die in the video game. <laughs> well, it, it's it's multiple. Either you die in the video game or you would just spend like twenty thousand hours in the video game. Mm -hmm. And then die. It die. It die. <laughs> the thing where you, you know, the mythical thing where you just spend your entire life on a video game and then die of dehydration or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Was, didn't that theoretically happen with, like, Diablo 3's launch or something? Or was it Starcraft Probably 2? not. 
Not on such a trash game, surely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this... <laughs> I see what I have to do. <laughs> my friend! My friend, fly! Fly, you fuck! No! Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> you had it, oh man. I thought I had to go for it left! It was so perfect! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and you I are getting this- You're getting this yeah. room a lot faster than me, that's for sure, but I did spend a lot of time not knowing about up or down. I mean, to be fair, you gave me a really good hit. <laughs> uh, that probably shaved off at least four, at like least fifteen hour. minutes. Yeah, and I did a little bit of practice before. I was doing. I want to make sure that the pacing stays up, and I don't spend eight hundred hours on this room. <laughs> don't even need it. Don't even need it. I don't know how I figured out that part so quickly that I don't even fucking need it. Don't call yourself a gamer if you haven't died of dehydration at least twice. Fuck. Hey, we don't have that problem <laughs> here. A handful of survival games. I'm sure I've died of dehydration a few times. Uh huh? Do you even play survival games that have a thirst mechanic? Because I think mechanics like that are stupid. <laughs> they Most tend to be, time. but Subnautica got one and I like that game. I don't That's like it true. because of the thirst mechanic, but I think that the thirst mechanic provides an effective gameplay loop in which the things that are awesome about that game happen. Wait, there's a thirst mechanic in some- the entire world is water! I mean, great- Go drink not... ocean water, you absolute uh -huh. numbskull! Go yeah, drink ocean gonna... water, and have a great time. Yeah, I know, I know you're not just gonna, like, open up your submarine and be like, man, the glug glug glug. <laughs> but... I'm thirsty, take off my mask <laughs> underwater. Well, hey, like, hey! Thanks for following. <laughs> Thank you. But it does um, does surprise. I don't know why it surprises me. It just seems like it's not what that game's about. Right. Yeah. It, it's, it's super easy. Vine. It's good. Yeah, I want to. I want to play. I don't think I own it. I always feel like I go into this is like, did I ever get it free on Unreal? I don't think I did. Unreal. Yeah, like as in the, in the Unreal the name store. Epic Games. What the fuck? Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I had you a like that on Fortnite. Uh huh. I think I bought that game on Fortnite. Everyone knows that every game that's made in the Unreal Engine is actually just a Fortnite mod. Theta is correct that the ocean water does have two things you need: water and salt. That's true. You only need salt to keep the water in your body, which is a bit ironic. Is a bit ironic. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? So the part that always confused me, right? Yeah. And, and maybe this, maybe this could be clear, better clarified. I want to say that like, like, ocean water is something like ninety-eight percent water and like one or so one 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 point five percent salt. And that is enough to kill you. Like, that, that ah. water to salt ratio is. But there are plenty of people that don't ever actually drink water, and will just drink, like, soda and stuff, and somehow... Well, soda ain't got as much salt in it as salt water, do you? Really? Right. You think yeah. about... Think a lot about, of sugar, but it ain't got that much salt. Think about oh. the concentration level, and then think about how big the ocean is. <laughs> well, you're not drinking the whole ocean. Right, you're just drinking, like... <laughs> Oh, maybe that's why so many people keep on dying. They just keep trying to drink the entire ocean. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point, Kirby. Who, who fucked up that we've got all... 70% of the surface of the Earth is water and we can't fucking drink it. it yeah, uh, that's a really good point. If we ever solve like like the if we ever solve like the top seventy five like problems plaguing humanity, it would be really cool. In, like, One of the them year... was to be able to drink the ocean. Yeah, yeah, the year like forty eighty or something like that. The, they're like, you know what? Dang it! What if we just spent a huge amount of resources and time to make the ocean drinkable? I mean, right. look, water scarcity is a real problem, but I don't think it's a 
problem that people living next to oceans are particularly <laughs> facing. <laughs> Fun fact, there tend to be other water sources they can access. Well, other water Cal sources, including the ocean where they desalinate it. <laughs> Wait, no, yeah, that's California, though. California constantly has, like, droughts that they're struggling with. And they yeah, well, the they're under siege from Nestle, which is no <laughs> joke. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Listen, the world's in a great place. It's fine. Right, Sean? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's wonderful. Who cares, I'll be dead then. Look, it's a cool... I like to imagine that good and cool things will happen after I'm dead. Yeah, yeah I, I so know too. it'll be hard for the world to go on after this ends, but... Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, like Dark Souls 4 will come out in, in, at some point. And it'll yeah. suck. Yeah, it won't be by Miyazaki, so it's gonna probably suck, but yeah. I... <laughs> I do like that we both intuitively assume that Miyazaki won't outlive us, even though I doubt he's that much older than us. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Probably in his 40s. Yeah. Yeah. She's only 10 years older. No! <laughs> ah, We're old geez. men. We are old men now. That's Those true. Then. dudes playing video games. It does mess with me when I when I realize that people like ten years older than us are like, you know, mid career doing big stuff. Look at Nathan I mean? Fielder. <laughs> yeah, like Nathan yeah. Fielder. He really isn't that much older than us. Despite what his gray hair might tell you. Uh huh. Okay. Alright, moment of truth. Uh, now game, now game, why did I, I swear I was still holding the L trigger, I swear. Okay, I'm not, uh -huh. I have my hand under the desk, mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if having my hand up, up on, up on top of the desk will help, this can, is not- If you can see your hand, it helps. Uh huh. You have to keep your, you have to keep an eye on your hands. Well, I don't know what my hands are not getting up to any funny business. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Got cranked there in that last one. I feel like because my hands. by our own hands. I can't trust anything, man. You have to understand this. Not even myself. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. I do feel like I am getting to this part faster, so. Speaking of, oh my god, uh, uh, Sean and I did finish the curse, and it is quite good, and it is quite strange. Yeah, no spoilies, uh, but yeah, the curse is phenomenal. It's a work of art. It's hard, it's hard to recommend because what I really want to recommend is that people start with the beginning of Nathan Fielder's uh -huh. career and just go linearly through it. Because I really do think that, like, having the context of stuff like Nathan for you and having seen all of the rehearsal adds a lot to the experience of watching The Curse. Right. But also you can just watch The Curse because it's great. Uh-huh. But it definitely is a piece that is about a, a, a artist looking themselves into their ethereal eyes of artwork. Uh -huh. on some level <laughs> but it's also about art in general and about how television is kind of awful I find that interesting about his whole thing like even outside of that piece a lot of his whole thing is about how television is kind of awful and dumb oh yeah that was a fun maneuver uh huh I know how to I know how to ooh that was close I know how to save that if I fuck it up. Even though it's probably faster if I would just die. <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh man, I just remembered we were gonna play uh, Super Meat Boy after this. That's fun. You yeah. fuck. <laughs> you what? pizza. You. Why would you do this to me? How dare you? This is. 
Does do I mean nothing to you? <laughs> uh, I mean, God, God, it's fine. Nope, it wasn't fine. Listen, I do want to play Mute Super Meat Boy at some point. Damn it! <laughs> No, no, Isaac has a thing he wants to do after uh, yeah, uh, we're done with Celeste. It'll be great, it'll be great. It'll be great, it's not gonna have any... Uh, Jackson, it'll be a hard sell, it's not gonna have any platforming, it's not gonna have any RPG elements, mm. it's not gonna have... It's not an MMO VR experience, unfortunately. Um, I don't know how to take this bit anywhere more than I have, and I don't know if I want to take it any farther than I already have. <laughs> God damn it. Again? My fucking left index finger gets tired, okay? I have to hold it for a very long time. <laughs> you can use your right index finger. Like, I think you can use, use the other shoulder button, or the other uh, trigger button to hold. What? Well... Don't I feel like a fool now? That might get too confusing for me, though. <laughs> I have muscle memory left trigger finger for so much at this point. <laughs> Why use two button to... when one button do trick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Exactly. A finger for this game? This guy died. Hands get tired. Hands get tired. Hands get cramps. Sure, Hands that's are muscles. why Jackson was offering a solution. I mean, it's a good solution. <laughs> Isaac is talking his way back around to it. Hey, good solutions doesn't mean that I am gonna do that. <laughs> you should know this at this point. Ooh, ooh, God, that stresses me out every goddamn time. Gave yourself a haircut. A little buzz. Yeah, a little buzzed. So, oh, I watched a film today. Uh... Okay. It's a... It's called Before I Wake. It is it a... Mike. Flanagan film that I didn't realize existed that uh, Ari pointed out to me and dang it, it's a good film that Mike Flanagan sure knows what he's doing Is it a newer one or is it an older one? Uh, at this point older, uh, it's 2016 Okay, compared to when did Hush come out? Uh, Hush was before, Hush was like 20... 12 or something. Ah, uh, that's what I was thinking. God, now that... God, I hate that that's a 10-year-old movie. I don't know, man. Fair, it wasn't new when you first watched it. <laughs> it wasn't new when it came out either. <laughs> What's that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was good. No, it is good. Um, but yeah, Before I Wake is... Um, sort of like an answer to the Babadook in a lot of ways. Uh, it is a film about grief and about a pair of grieving parents trying to raise a foster kid. Uh, while scary, thematically relevant nightmare horror monsters happen. Yeah, my favorite. It's real good. Yeah, I I'll have to but add it to the list, Sean. We'll have to add it to the list of the never ending. Yeah. Ari's got... been giving me a lot of good horror film recommendations. They've been on their shit. Yeah. I mean they have good taste. I mean I would trust them for any horror stuff. Oh, so. up. <laughs> uh, somehow I just knew. Somehow I just knew that's what I had to do. I don't know how I knew, but I just fucking knew. 
That's good conveyance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm plugged in, I'm jacked in. You're jacked. I'm jacked. I had a. No, a, you're Isaac. That's Jackson. Oh, oh right, my man. <laughs> Quick, Jackson, give me your lived experience. I need it. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah let's trade. Guess, <laughs> I guess what makes you Mega Man? You just have to, like, shoot me to the lemons until you learn my powers. Or I could just consume you like Kirby, or I'm sure Klonoa has something like that. Put you in a big ring? I've never played Klonoa, so I don't know how he works. Not a foggy clue. You how dystopian see... would the world be? This is probably a bad hypothetical, but I was thinking, like, how uh -huh. dystopian would the world be if, like, we did learn stuff from consuming a person? I feel like that's... I feel like that would probably lead to some... I don't know, learn something. Uh -huh. I was gonna well, say, that's... I don't know, ask a... Ask a, a Heinlein, he wrote a book where that is kind of a thing where the alien race in his book uh, eats their e eats their dead to try to internalize a as a ritual, but also as a way to internalize their race. <laughs> me eat smart brain, now me genius. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. But also, that book is about um, having sex to gain superpowers, so... I like making I fun of that book a lot, but I feel like the, author had... the original harem author. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like that that author had like two ideas that he was trying to write at the same time. Like, it was like, what if what if we were just Mega Man and we just ate people to become Kirby, or we just ate people to become to gain their abilities? Surely I've and talked also, about and... this book with you around. You know what book I'm talking about, Jackson? No, not really. No. Uh... So, uh, Heinlein, author of Starship Troopers, and a fan of that book, I am, he, the second book I tried to read was, uh, uh, second uh book Stranger... Of his, not the second book ever. Oh, yeah, 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 no, I've, well, I've read more books. Um, <laughs> I've read more than once. I the image of, like, <laughs> seven-year-old Isaac trying to read Stranger in a Strange Land. Oh, my God, I don't think I'd a, I, I don't think... I would have even understood it then, and what I understand now, I, I, yeah, I don't think he would be able to process. Um, but uh, uh, it is about the, the main premise is about um, a human who was uh, born on another planet shortly after the first space flight happened, comes back to Earth, and it turns out that Mars is inhabited by shit is inhabited by an alien race, and he's raised by this alien race, and he and comes back John to Carter Earth, from Mars. and it's not John Carter from Mars. Now, if that sounds cool, that's because the concept seems cool, but having read of it, what I have, I was like, I don't know if I'm into this, and then watching uh, a an overly sarcastic video who even, like, supplanted the book in my brain to read it. Uh, I actually watched her synopsis on it, and that book goes places that just... Oh, hey, this happened, too, and I was like, okay, I can't keep practicing. Are you alright, Isabel? We're so close, but it feels impossible. Come on. Just a few more tries. We can do this. Closer, closer. I uh, believe in you. That book is just kind of a hodgepodge, bizarre set of really weird and and strange interconnected. Uh, ideologies that are all very upsetting, including a, a cannibal sex cult that gives you superpowers when you have sex. Oh. Yeah, I, uh, if anyone's not familiar with Overly Sarcastic Productions on YouTube, I definitely recommend checking them out. 
And their video on this book in particular is quite good. Yes, it is very funny. And but I would, I will. I know Silos has been like Timeline does make more good books. I'm like, yeah, I read Starship Troopers. I should give another book of his a try. But I don't necessarily like this one. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Uh, which I is think usually it's valid to be a little bit hesitant after that. Like, yeah, <laughs> someday you'll get in there, but you uh -huh. don't have to be excited about it. Yeah, I'm now a little bit more hesitant. Like, I really do like Starship Troopers as a piece of science fiction uh, uh, literature, but uh, Stranger in a Strange Land is not that, and. Uh, the, the other kind of, like, hot take that I have on it is, um, uh, I did not know, th like, I had this experience separately with two different people, but David and Arthur, both apropos of nothing, used a term from the book called Grok, and it I mean, just- Grok's just very popular, a very right. popular term within new culture. And it's just so weird, because I feel like- with the context behind it, I'm like, that word is stupid <laughs> <laughs> to me. Uh, it's just silly to me, I don't know. Especially for, like, how popular it is. And then, yeah, no, uh, uh, David was like, is that where the word grok comes from? And I was like, oh, yeah. I, so it, it sh I, and I had never heard that word before in my life, honestly, before I even knew of the existence of this... Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Actually... Huh. Interesting. Yeah? I didn't even notice when that happened. Wait, what? He somehow got up there with a dash left, which doesn't oh. help at all. It's just weird. Uh, what happened was oh, I somehow to... touched the platform while still holding the jellyfish. Oh. Also, you can use... Um, you've been making that one section a little bit harder. You can use the exploding fish to get over to the to the feather, and then you don't have to dodge around the exploding fish once you have the feather. That spot that you were, that you died at pretty far in. Oh yeah, I guess there's nothing that's necessarily keeping me from just using the yeah. fish. Yeah, yeah, it's not like I need the fish after that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need the fish after that. So yeah, you can push him down and then. I'm just that much of an MLG pro gamer, Jackson. I can't believe I can't believe you're telling me to make the game easier for me when it could have been so impressive of how I did that unnecessary thing. <laughs> no, I will. I will. You're right. I just feel silly now. <laughs> you're good. Why can't this man just let me hot dog in peace, Sean? Uh-huh. How dare he help me? <laughs> we want the dog. Uh-huh. The votes are in, we want the dog. Chat, you're gonna still find it impressive when I beat this, if I beat it the way that Jackson recommended, right? You're, you're not gonna be like, well, now he's doing it the easy way, and he's not a real gamer anymore. You wouldn't yeah, say honestly, that, Yeah, honestly, this you? whole thing is trivial if you use the fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this entire, this entire room. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Not a real gamer. Oh well, man. Jackson, you did this to yourself. You shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> yeah, you have to do that. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Like I, uh... I forgot how much that fish is pivotal. Like this is really, you can do this room in two ways. You can do it like normally, or you can do fish percent. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And I want fish percent. Listen, we're all about fish on this stream, man. You, how long have you Excellent known me? doesn't even know. The amount yeah, of fish-oriented content I've made- been on our Tokimeki stream, all right? Nobody knows except you and you, me and Chad. Hey, don't- that's just one example. There- I founded this channel on fish in many ways, like Ace of Seafood. I've definitely considered wanting to do at least one fishing game stream. Uh... Notice that considering doing is not the same thing as doing. Like how you're considering getting through that hallway and as of yet haven't done it. You know, after that last one, it might not be possible. 
Yeah, the extra movement you need to get around that certainly makes it tight. Uh-huh. Uh, I've had I've I've had bunch of of, of fish related bits. Name like a fish. Name a fish. A trout. My favorite fish is. Trout is uh, a terrible name for a fish. Why I would you say Philip. that? Uh, sorry, Philip. That's not how science works. <laughs> <laughs> science doesn't give a shit what you name your fish. Uh -huh. Old Man, Old man Jenkins. Jenkins? Now that's a fucking fish name. That's just a man who got turned into a fish by the wizard that lives in the woods. Mm-hmm. He's here to warn you, but he can't because he's a fish. Uh, uh, uh. Honestly, this... The, You're getting the, good at this first half. The, the silly thing about a lot of this section of the game is it really is a, a sta- uh, It's a marathon, it's all about stamina. Because yeah. I would say, like, this overall has not been harder than any given room before it. It's just a lot. It's fucking long, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Why have I done so? <laughs> That's fucked. That's fucked I up. Saw, I saw what I needed to do. It's so evil. Uh. What did I? I, well, I? My brain was still processing what I was trying to do there in the last run. Well, now I've just. Now I've. Now, that's me in game. How was I to know the fish was to come back? Fish always come <laughs> back. Fish loves you. Fish does love me. Fish, fish will never friends. abandon you. <laughs> you're right, Sean. They're, you're right. Is that what I should be taking away from Tokimeki? Yes. You don't need girls, you just need fish. Women hate me, fish love me. <laughs> 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 Women hate this one fish. This <laughs> one weird fish. Uh, hot, hot fish near you. Oh. Hot. Uh, hot hot slippery fish near you. Hot slippery. Oh, there it is. Easy. This part I don't find that bad, honestly. The fact that you can go- Honestly, the fact that you can go down is what makes the difference. Because if you couldn't go down, this yeah, would be, be wild impossible. if you couldn't go down, or if you just, like, didn't know you could go down. That'd be crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> it's funny. Whoa. It's a good thing I had a good friend who would be able to give me such a good tool tip to be able to- We're friends now. Make that- You know, I did that I, that one yeah. time, and I don't know why I thought I needed to do it again. It's not a clue. Not a concept. A mystery to us all. A mystery to us all, Mr. B. But, uh... But, but, but... There was something I was saying about uh, any of the the Grok business before... The fuck were we talking about? I don't remember. <laughs> Stranger in a Strange Land is a weird book by a weird guy. Uh-huh. Go read Starship Troopers, it's real good. <laughs> I should read Starship Troopers. Yeah. Again, I... My whole... My whole... Opinion is I can't guarantee that anyone, everyone would agree with it, but I still think it is good for foundational science fiction as a whole. <laughs> we wouldn't have Space Marines in popular media without it, and for good reason. It's one of the best parts of the book. <laughs> yeah. For me, anyways. I'll be, uh, I'll be back. I'm gonna grab some water and stuff. When did Stranger in a Strange Land come out? I have no idea. 60s, I think? 
It's an old book, man. This is a surprisingly That's old tricks. book. Ah. I was trying to do something, and it didn't work as planned. It didn't work as planned. Ew, how did I save that? See, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm dialed in this week. I'm, I'm, I'm clocked. I'm clocked. I'm... Are you overclocked or underclocked? I'm, well, I'm definitely not underclocked. I feel like if I was underclocked, I wouldn't be so dialed in, right? 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 Mm -hmm. What's the advantage of being underclocked? That doesn't feel like a thing you'd want. Conserve power. I mean, I'm not cons I'm not conserving anything. I'm, I'm throwing out all the locks. I'm... Uh, trashing all of the concerns. I'm dialing not 911, but instead. What do you, what, what do you, what, what, I don't know any other phone numbers, Sean. Who, who, who do you call? Who do you call? In instead of 911? Yeah. Ghostbusters. <laughs> that doesn't. That's still an emergency! What if it's not an emergency? Who do I call? I don't know. Your brother? I don't know his number, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> well... I unfortunately... ...do not need to know phone numbers anymore in my life. Okay. <gasps> yep! Yep, you see it? You see it, Sean? That's what I had uh, to do! I don't know. Now. So rude. Uh. What? Don't worry, I. made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very weird looking mistake. Don't worry about it. You cast confusion on me. And myself, for that matter. Uh-huh. Our lefts and rights got mixed up. Uh-huh. Lefts, rights, ups, downs. Spin me all round, 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 round! Why'd I do that? <laughs> Why does singing not- Were singing you helps? Cyclone? Was I? Is that a real song? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you were, like, very nearly singing Cyclone, a horrible song that the world should forget existed. Well, quick, quick, give me the lyrics. I want to know how close I was incepting this song that I didn't know existed. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna have to Speaking look at my lines. Speaking of my lines. Sure. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh no, I'm, am I thinking... I better not be thinking of Brood Sandstorm, because I don't got lyrics. Oh, I am thinking of a different song. What the fuck is that song? No, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I fucking said whatever came to my mind. So whatever artist, uh, artist spirit, if there's no longer alive, just hijacked my soul to fucking express that one song again because they found a, 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 a person in psychological d distress and were able to tap into them for a moment. I don't know who it was, Sean. I don't know who I channeled. You have to tell me. <laughs> the psychic medium that, the very bad psychic medium, I guess, that I am. Hold on, this was a way deeper cut than I realized it was. Give me a second. Now that's evil game. Now that's evil game. I was like, okay, maybe if I just wait. Maybe if I just wait, I can I can process what to do next. And the game just says no waiting. The game does say no waiting. Alrighty. That's evil. Mean, mean, mean. The game is mean. Well. 
You've entered mean mode. I've entered mean mode. Prepare to be mean, Don. I've I've left kindness at the door. <laughs> ah. Ah. Fuck it. Cheese. Cheese and rice. Cheese and rice indeed. Have you seen that animation? It's very good. Cheese and rice. Uh, the, the happy. You know who Joel G is, right? Yes. Uh, he in in his second most recent animation because he takes forever to make anything, which is fine. They're really good. Uh, uh, at the very end of it, Ina just goes cheese and rice smoothie. <laughs> I it's, see. It's my favorite substitute for Jesus Christ now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really funny. An oldie but a goodie. I'm a little upset that technically you're not wrong that it is an oldie now. Why did I do that? What do you mean? I just, I just threw. I just threw. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> My, my brain had to confront what my hands did there. My brain needed answers and closer, closure, Sean. Uh-huh. We'll never have it. Once again, my hands are below the desk. I swear my hands play pranks on me when I put them down there. Why do I keep on doing this? The I don't know what they're up to now, down there, you know? Mm-hmm. They could be doing anything. I don't I don't have an eye on them. They're hiding. Huh? You're up to mission. These hands. Okay. Alright. Okay. <laughs> you think you think surgeons play this game to get better at surgery, Shaw? No, oh, that's super monkey <laughs> That's a weird urban myth that I've heard, that surgeons played Super Monkey Ball to get better at hand dexterity. Like on the arcade stick? I don't know if there was ever an arcade machine for Super Monkey Ball, Sean. I don't know if there then ever was. how would that work? No! Shit, what? I almost saved that! That would have been cool. <laughs> yeah, that was close. Um? I just... I just... Go around, and I... my... and my... and my joystick. The fatigue is setting in. No, it's only 8 o'clock, Sean. The fatigue doesn't start until about 9, you know that. <laughs> On a normal day? Playing. Yeah, but like, look at this. How dare you! I'm... I am juiced, I'm clocked, I had a fantastic ramen bowl that I made that weirdly was like almost a chowder. I don't know how to explain it, I just, it came out really good. Mm. It was tasty. Fuck. Ramen chowder. Mm. I just had shitty rice. Well, why did you cook shit in your rice? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> His brown rice can eat my whole asshole. I'm fucking he, done with brown rice. Yeah, I, I don't. That's like whole grain, isn't it? And yeah, it, I wanted to start using brown rice instead of white for exactly that reason. But it's a pain in the dick to cook, and it doesn't keep at all. Oh, really? I did not know that. Yeah, I can freeze white rice and reheat it with some water and it'll be perfect. Like, it'll be great. But brown rice, it gets like crunchy and garbagey if it's yeah. frozen. Yeah, I've had, yeah, I always seem to end up making it mushy in some way. It just doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's real finicky. When you first cook it, it's either mushy or crunchy and... Their sweet spot is a fucking 
30 second window that doesn't exist because some of it's gonna be crunchy and some of it's gonna be mushy if you actually hit that and... Uh huh. And then you can't uh, uh, store it, so what the fuck is even the point? Because if I'm making rice, I'm making uh, it in bulk. Uh huh. I'm, if making... I'm making rice, I'm making rice for myself for a month. <laughs> well, not a month necessarily, but yeah, like, I'm making. I'm making, like, a cup or two cups of rice at least, you know? Uh huh. And that could feed a man for, like, four days. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> so fuck brown rice. After I'm done with this bag, I'm never buying it again. Isn't that the real the real pain though? Is it's like, well, I've got this bag of rice that I've determined is shitty rice. I have uh -huh. to get through it. And that'll only make it take longer because you just don't want to cook it. Yeah. Yeah. You the funny thing to. is too, I specifically bought a small bag of brown rice first as a tester, and I was like, okay. I'll make a couple of batches of this and see how it goes. And it went bad, but... <laughs> that one, I, I don't know, like I don't know. <laughs> um, but the like last one I made was pretty close, and it was close enough that I convinced myself, I was like, okay, like there's a sweet spot here that I've almost got. You know, next time or the time after, it'll be perfect. I just need to like, refined my water to rice ratio and I'll be great. Right. And now I've cooked like three more batches and I'm convinced that it's just not possible. <laughs> it was and a fluke all along. What's your what's your rice cooking strat? Because uh, we ra we wash out our rice a little bit first. Some feels like that makes a difference, but I don't know. Yeah, I should probably do that. I, I, the problem, the first problem is that the water to rice ratio should be consistent, but the fucking rice doesn't give white rice. It's like one cup rice for every two cups water. Perfect. Beautiful. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Brown rice, it's like for each cup of rice, two to three cups of water. And it's like the difference between two times as much water and three times as much water is a lot. It's a lot. It's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. How can those both be equally valid? Because even the person who was like, yeah, that's how you cook brown rice. You just gotta make it the best that you can. Not because uh -huh. it's going to come out good, but this is the best that we could figure out. <laughs> it really feels that way. I will say, um, uh, in, in so much as, uh, my, my rice method, I've just felt like a fool because my rice cooker, cooker, my rice cooker. cooker just says on the inside, when you measure out a cup of rice, there's a line that's like, okay, you got three cups of rice, put water to here. And I'm like, and, uh, and David had to tell me that. But is that for white or brown rice? White rice. See, exactly. <laughs> white rice is easy. Um, yeah, my thing right now is I do three cups water for every one cup of brown rice, uh, which for my rice cooker comes out to a cup and a half of rice, four and a half cups water. But then I start it early and I let it sit for... Right. on keep warm for at least an hour before I even open the lid. Oh my god. Brown rice is too much. I don't even wash it anymore. I just do three scoops of rice to the line, throw it into the wall, and say good. <laughs> we do, yeah, um... I'm, I'm only doing white rice from here on. The funny thing is I don't like cooking. Like, I hate cooking. And the one, like, true joy I've ever really gotten out of cooking is white rice. I... I think that the texture of freshly cooked white rice is wonderful and it brings me joy. Yeah. And brown rice has stolen that from me. <laughs> and I won't be okay until I am done with this bag of brown rice in like two months. Uh-huh. In two years. <laughs> you could uh you could possibly make a big old batch of fried rice, like let it let it come out a bit crispy, like wash that rice. Funnily enough, with the white rice, we actually tend, uh, we do one and a half cups of white rice to two cups of water, so the, the water to, the rice to water ratio is a bit closer. And 
because they're pretty good for us. And then if we wanted to... Yeah, I mean, white rice doesn't need as much water because it cooks faster. Yeah, it's yeah. really forgiving. And sometimes if I want it kind of a little bit crispier or stickier, I'll, I'll leave it on that keep warm, but open up the container as well. So it just sort of, like, dries it out, but not in a way that's unpleasant, to me at least. Interesting. Um, but uh, you might be able to do something similar with the brown rice, and then just make, you know, throw in a bunch of veg, like throw it on the stove uh, with some oil and a bunch of veggies and make fried rice out of it. Maybe. The frying, see, now it's work. Now, yeah, it's, that, just now it's work, which is in the rice cooker and be done. <laughs> right, but I just mean like it, well, you can see make... that's where you just take a bunch of vegetables and you throw you just throw everything in there and make the world's biggest mess and say I'm throwing this away. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's like it's like if it turns out great, then you have food for like three days. If it turns out bad, then then it's you use all your brain rice. Yeah, but either way, I still had to do the work. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, that's fair. I can you bake rice? I because even when I make vegetables, I don't fry vegetables. I bake them because I don't want to do work. Kinda. Also, I, I just like baking. Bake. I don't like baking. I like baked food. I. This is this is a like I sort of knew about this about you, but I didn't realize. I didn't realize to this degree how much you really didn't like cooking. <laughs> I really don't. It, That's... I get no joy out of it. It's just work, and it makes me not want to eat food. Yeah. I also just don't... We're going to get into some weird territory here. Uh, I don't get as much joy out of food as a normal person does. Oh, is that I like because of brain stuff? Uh, maybe. I also just maybe have shitty, like low quality taste buds, like low fidelity taste buds. Low fidelity, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, but for whatever reason, like, there's definitely food I like, and there's food that brings me satisfaction, and there's food that makes me happy, and there's food that I crave more for chemical reasons, probably, than for taste reasons. For taste reasons, yeah. But, like, I don't know, man, people love food, and I'm just like, yeah, food's a, food's can be good. Listen, man, I'm just I... Here, I eat rice and beans. And it was shitty rice because it's brown rice that was frozen and reheated, which doesn't work with brown rice the way it does with white rice. That's what I ate for dinner today, and I didn't care. <laughs> I wasn't mad. It's just healthy garbage that can go in my hole that didn't take work to make. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It, it didn't. It doesn't cause you harm. It, it cause. It gave. It gives you the energy, and it. And you really are just like living your best Matrix life, huh? <laughs> like, I'm, uh, hey, well, it depends on how much work a smoothie is. So I'm like, I'm sitting here like, I I feel like, even though I do enjoy cooking, I'm very much in the mindset of, but how can I minimize how much I actually have to do for cooking um, at any given That's moment? Rude. Now that one, I just didn't push the button. <laughs> uh... But I was like, so I, I I recommend smoothies. That way you could just drink everything. But no, making a smoothie does take an amount of work more than it really should. And I'm not like opposed to doing literally anything. Like I will cook right. rice. I will bake vegetables. I'll uh I bake chicken. Like I, I I do make stuff. Like I'll cut up an apple and have some peanut butter with it. Whatever. Like I eat food. Yeah, yeah. I'll eat some ants on a log. Yeah, I haven't had that shit in a long time. That shit I had as a kid, and I went, what the fuck are you trying to give me? <laughs> yes. I went, celery is not a snack. Just because you put peanut butter on it, you've now ruined peanut butter, because I don't like peanut butter enough to make up for celery. <laughs> See, I don't, I've never understood the hate for celery. Yeah, I, this, I, this I, I'm, I'm fine with it now, fine. but I, I, weirdly enough, out of all of my pica and everything, the texture of all celery. All of your pica? Yeah. I mean, how many things do you hear me talk about wanting to eat and put in my mouth on a weekly basis, Jackson? Fair, I guess. <laughs> we don't got to talk about grandma. <laughs> we did. I mean, we don't. Our pica, our pica cat today just ate a fortune cookie. Fortune. 
I was about to say it was like eight of fortune That's cookie. That's paper. Yeah. Yeah. I like eating paper. They like eating plastic. Mine likes eating grass, which is grass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I studied like the metal. Oh no, grass! God, not brass. That's metal. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd be really concerned if you started eating metal, Sean. That's yeah. that's my roommate's dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, who did who did chew on a tin can and what did leave tooth marks and holes in <laughs> in the can? <laughs> it's like Jesus Christ, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> what a good boy. He is a good boy. <laughs> Brass helps them cop up hair balls. Uh huh. Maybe it's an important part of their diet. You know, we we need iron in our diet. You don't know, maybe it's they true. need brass. See, this is why you should always talk to your veterinarian. If you think your cat's eating something weird, it probably needs it. I've always wanted to try edible gold, because like it's that shit gold pisses fogger. me off. <laughs> why is it why does it make you angry? Uh because I'm too low class to care about it. It's oh. just gold leaf. <laughs> it's all it is. It's not. It's gold. It is real gold, but it's just like gold that's super thin. It's like gold foil. <laughs> right. And the fact that that's like edible is like that's the part that's. It's. Want to know why it's edible, Jackson? It's because your body has been taken so little of it that it doesn't hurt you. <laughs> that's probably <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you, that's it. It's not. Your body doesn't digest gold. <laughs> <laughs> It's just fancy rich people stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't want you don't want a steak wrapped in gold leaf. No. Fuck. Well, of course you don't, John. We were just talking I about this. I want you to Google how much a steak wrapped in gold leaf costs to make me sick. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, and I have guess. <laughs> I'm gonna guess two hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's not as bad as you think. Which two hundred dollars is way more than I would ever spend on one meal. I mean, yeah. But it is something I technically could afford. And I have seen a one hundred dollar steak and eaten a one hundred dollar steak that was worth a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and I they didn't use gold leaf on it, so it's got to be more than a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, jeez. Google is telling me that. It's like a thousand? I'm seeing a thousand. I see one that's 400. Yeah, yeah. Can, I get, can, I, get, can, I, get, I, can I get the budget gold covered <laughs> steak, please? I want a gold, I want a gold wrapped steak, but I don't want one that I can get from my cousin Jimmy down the street. I don't want to have to fork off an arm and a leg for this. I'm working on a budget. What can you do? Can it be like half? Can it be like Dama Seed so that way it's not completely- I got 300 bucks and two Xbox controllers. What can you make work? <laughs> I mean, that's technically market value, 420. You're actually making a bar- you're actually making money here. <laughs> uh. You made homemade biscuits today? That sounds wonderful. Yeah. You should dude. wrap them in $20 bills and sell them for 35 bucks. That's a good- It's a, I mean, I... a good strategy. Want, now the question want... is, do you bake the twenty dollars into the bill, <laughs> into the biscuit? Yes. Yes. How else is it supposed to? Well, I guess you could fill it. But no, I think you you, you would want it to be seasoned on the inside, like a. Yeah, some you kind want of, the uh... flavor to seep through the twenty dollars. You don't want it yeah, to yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Want to make sure that the flavor of the twenty dollars gets into the bread too. That's what gives it its value. Yeah. You know, everyone knows that money has all sorts of flavors. Given how old any of it is, nobody throws away money. Oh man, I do love this. Okay, mm. so so you we could recreate the gold steak for way less than like four hundred bucks or three hundred bucks. Oh, I'm sure. How much does gold leaf even cost? It's probably that's not even I, that much. That's, that's what it looked up. Probably, probably like forty can... bucks. Uh, well, at least according to the L.A. Gold Leaf Store, you can get uh, a booklet of 25 sheets, 2 inch by 3 inch uh, sheets, so 25 of these guys, uh, for, for 25 bucks. So that's <laughs> actually That's 25 stakes, baby! <laughs> that's extremely cheap, what the hell? 
Yeah. Um, I mean, you might need more than one gold leaf per stake. Like, for sure. Are... You'll need two at least, right? Yeah, at, le at least two, like two inch by three inch uh, sheets. Yeah, and that's the, that's the dimensions from a, from a, you know, piece of paper standpoint. That shit is thin as fuck if you've ever seen gold leaf. That shit is impossible to work with. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Uh, the, the part that really got me, this is why I, I chuckled at this, uh, cause it lists its qualities on Amazon. It's like 100% real gold, 24 karat, edible food, bakery, serums, so on and so forth. Best in use in the cosmetics, anti-aging. It is pure and vegan product. Anti-aging? Vegan gold. Hmm. It makes sense cause it's not from an animal. I mean, it makes sense in the sense that all gold is vegan, sure. Oh, my yeah, non I want my non-vegan golden leaves, goddammit. That's kind of what I was on, like... I want my beef leaf. Okay. Like, oh my god, I, that's... That, that, just, that just kills me. It's like the fact that they... Oh it's like... I forgot where the wall, where the where the clip was. It's like, okay, I got this. I did not realize I was that close, actually. Yeah, you're you're closing in. Yeah, this this is happening. You only get if this someone in, like, ripped out their gold tooth and used that in food. Would that be vegan? I don't. Uh, did you use the whole tooth or? No, if you use the whole tooth, I don't think it would even be vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, that, one, that one, that one makes me confused. But it's not an animal product just because it's a tooth, or just because it was touching an animal. And we don't have any legal friends to hash this out with us. God damn it! We also right. don't have any yeah. vegan friends, which doesn't yeah, that's help. Also fair. Is eating yeah. fossils vegan? See, that is a no. I think. I think fossils are animal byproduct. So that wouldn't be vegan. God damn it. That's interesting because the closest thing we could have to a non to a non vegan non vegetarian fossil gold or a non vegetarian gold would be a fossil made out of pyrite. That's the closest thing to to non Wow, man, it's so much fool's cold, it's not even vegan. <laughs> Me that beef leaf. That that gold is so fake it's not even vegan. <laughs> Nobody only the only the rock scientists in my chat liked that joke, so me. You only I liked that I joke. Right is. <laughs> I mean, for real though, look up pyrite look up look up pyrite uh, uh fossils. They're fucking cool, man. They're some of my favorite. Hey. When I learned that they existed, I was like, oh my god, fossils can be preserved this way? Holy shit. Cool as fuck. Coolest one I've ever seen being a feather that was completely replaced by pyrite. It is fucking bonkers. I'm mostly seeing snail shells. I mean, they're probably almanite shells, yeah. Those are the most common. Um, they're still shell? cool Wait, as feather. Fuck. You... are you... I need you to understand that the whole <laughs> thing about that specific Pokemon is the difference between its reference animal and it is literally a single letter, the letter A and the letter O. Ah. Just how Sporto? there's a Pokemon named Seal that the only difference is a single letter. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that one actually... Hold on, cause uh, cause there's seal like like uh like the rune, and there's seal like the animal. Is seal the Pokemon named the same as seal the animal? I think so. Wait. No, actually, no. I'm so sorry. Seal, the animal is also named. It was spelled the same way as like seal like. Um, yeah. I never really thought about the spelling of the animal. Hey, Doctor. I've, I've only spoken Dr. English for a few years. Don't worry, Dr. Butt Doctor. I get your comment, and I ap I appreciate your your call out to Coprolites. Coprolites don't get enough love, everybody. I, I appreciate him saying that out of nowhere. See, I got one! Guys, I found one! Somebody gets my rock facts! I'm happy! 
Uh-huh. <laughs> Finally, the audience I've really been going for. <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. They, they've been making fun of me for years about my rock jokes and my rock facts, saying nobody's gonna understand anything that you're talking about, Isaac. And there's exactly one. Exactly one. <laughs> I do like the idea that Isaac is, like, like, built, like doing this, like, 20-year endeavor to build up, like, 100,000, 200 uh, million followers, and then we'll make a hard pivot to, like, try to isolate out the rock fact followers and, uh -huh. like, and, like, screw, like, just tell the rest of them to screw off. <laughs> no! That is so fucking fast! Mm-hmm. We know so much about rocks because they're my enemy, says Bot Doctor. Oh no! I thought we were beloved You're... friends, but now we're mortal enemies! <laughs> yeah, you found your super villain. God yeah. damn it! it this is your Lex Luthor of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I was close, guys! I was so close! I do find that interesting. Studying something so much purely because you despise it. I mean, to understand your enemy, you gotta... You have to understand it, right? That's, yeah, that's, that's how that works. Like, uh... you, that is what the word means, is itself, yes. I do, like, to... I, I do like Rock from Hunter x Hunter as well, that is pretty good. And the Rock but... from... The Tooth from Johnson, Fairy. Yeah. Yeah, from Johnson. We talk about him a lot when we're playing Celeste. Why is that? That's This is not... This is a frequent... Like, I know we talk about him a lot in general, but I feel like almost every single Celeste stream we have talked about The Rock. <laughs> what is it about Celeste and The Rock? I need to know. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is The Rock's favorite video game. You think huh. The Rock plays video games? And not no, any of the no. video games that he's just in? <laughs> Uh, I don't even think he plays the video games he's in. Unless it's like playing. a sponsor deal. Does anyone I, play the video games they're in, aside from like maybe Tony Hawk? Uh, that's I've fair. seen a few YouTubers or, or otherwise like talk about oh, sure, how. Sure, sure. I'm talking about like celebrities that yeah, are like yeah, yeah. celebrities in games, not just people who made games. And we all know that definitely Tony Hawk plays his games and enjoys them, and they're fun, so. A power to the man. I don't even think it's a narcissistic thing. I think he just likes skating. Boarding. They're, they're... Skate, skateboarding. I have enjoyed YouTubers that have talked about, like, sponsorships being like, yeah. Like, they, they'll come out, like, like months later and be like, yeah, I played this game and, uh... It was bad. Oh. <laughs> That's a shame. Ah! I've never played a WWE game, so I can't say if whether or not they're- I played one once and went, this is nonsense to me, the but they the buttons do things, and I don't understand why, and it doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> the Rock is also not, like, a major presence in those games. He's just sort of one of many. Yeah, that's, uh, that's cool. fair. I mean, based it's on- like a Dwayne the Jock Ronson video game. I mean, Dwayne, you've Dwayne seen- Dwayne the Ronson. I think you've seen at least the one- if not all of the Monster Boys, where they did try to make a, a, a The Rock sequel, so, I mean, he's gotten sure. close. He's gotten close. But he's in the video game, for sure. I'm just saying, like, there's probably Dwayne the Grock Johnson video games that are, like, <laughs> explicitly his. Now, if we're gonna talk about actual, like, you know, evil... <laughs> Evil, evil twins. Uh, uh, the Grok is absolutely the diametric opposite to the Rock. Uh huh. Oh man, that's some no stack going on. Uh huh. <laughs> Don't talk about no sack to me. Uh. Uh! Sorry, sorry. My I'm eyes nervous. trailed away from where my body was, and then I looked back for a moment and noticed it was not where I thought it was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, no. Why? Why? Now. Were we brought into this world only to suffer? <laughs> So, 
ever so close. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I've made it so far. God. God. <laughs> you were right, this room is big. It's very fucking big. It's really very, fucking big. Very large. This might be the single longest, like, level in a game that's, that demands you to not fuck it up that I've ever played. Ever. Oh yeah, I just realized. Uh, I, I forgot to bring this up to you, but if you do beat Chapter 9, I could power through some seasides for you if you'd like. I mean... Like, demo those. I have... I have a, well, how long do you think it would take? Because I have a plan for what we would do next after I beat this. Uh, I'm a bit rusty, but I played the ever-loving crap out of them. I think, I think I could probably beat all of the seasides in a half an hour. Okay. Yeah, I'm fair, I'm pretty confident I could beat all the seasides in a half an hour. Everybody's setting up for a real singer here. Because God knows, after this... I love this game, and I love you, Jackson. I don't think I would be able to do the seasides. Understandable. Honestly, the seasides are easier than what you're doing right now. Decide they are decidedly easier. Almost as big as... as... Oh. as the Empire oh. State Building. As the Sahara Desert. As the Marianas Trench. As the Moon Titan. Oh, that's pretty big. That's about as big as I can think, guys. Well, as yeah, I was gonna go to Olympus Mons, but you've 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 leapfrogged over me. Your mom. <laughs> Your mom's. My mom's what? Titan? The Moon Titan? <laughs> Your mom's pretty tight. Yeah. Pretty rad. I'm glad you recognize Sean. <laughs> Whoa! What a fucking left turn that joke took. I can't read it, I can't read it, I can't read it, I can't read it. It's still going, still going, you got time. Your mom's gravely... Gravely. Gravely. Gravely? <laughs> Grave, gravely default. I mean, it could be gravely, I guess. Are gravely and gravely spelled the same way? Uh, that fucks with me. I think there's an L in gravely, I think. There's an L in both of them. <sighs> oh! <sighs> Before you... Never mind. Go for it. It keeps going! It keeps going! <laughs> Go! Baby! Say gamer. goodbye to me. Or say goodbye to her for me. <laughs> I'm not trying to screw that up. <laughs> say goodbye. Say goodbye to her for me. Man, it's like when I was revived by Arthur and I called him my character's name. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda is my what? <laughs> Stuff haunts me like 15 years later. And it only took me an hour and a half. Rainy! And I think this was you, Jackson. Oh, that's true, it was. I was Granny. Kiddo. It's so great to see you. I didn't know what to do without you. But you aren't real. This is just a dream. Oh, what? I didn't stop you from coming out this way. You finally found me, and now you care that it's just a dream? Quit making excuses and say what you need to say. I'm 
sorry I didn't come to your funeral. Couldn't do it. I just shut down. <laughs> uh, sounds familiar. Mm. <laughs> hey, what do I care who showed up to that thing? I'm good! The funerals for our, funerals are for all you shuckers stuck living without me. Thank you for looking out for me on the mountain. You helped me so much, and I really miss you. What am I supposed to do now? Just keep going? Like nothing happened? Like you aren't gone forever. I, I like I liked that scene. Yeah. Well, hot damn. Sean. There she is. Long time no see, Strawberry. Hey, Theo. It's been forever. You went off the grid. What happened to you? Yeah, sorry for not responding to your messages. Or answering your calls. Or replying to your emails. I kind of had a breakdown when Granny died. And then I felt weird messaging you. I thought maybe you were mad at me disappearing. It snowballed from there. Yeah, yeah, I know you. I figured the funeral might have triggered your anxiety. No big deal. Next time, at least let me know you're still alive. You feeling any better? Yeah. I'm finally starting to come to terms with it. When I first met Granny, I thought she was crazy. But then I got to know her. And I thought she was mean. But she really knew what I needed to hear. She really helped me. I miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. I honestly thought she'd live forever. Oh, that reminds me. I have to show you something. Cat, 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 cat. I see cat. Mm hmm. I love cat. Oh? Remember how I told you my grandpa went to Celeste Mountain when he was younger? Well, I was going through his old stuff with Alex. And check out this photo I found. Is that Granny? With your grandpa? Theo, that's amazing! It looks like they were friends. Just like us! It really sucks that they're gone. But it's nice to know that we shared the mountain with them. Yeah. That is nice. Oh god, they're haunting her dreams now. No! <laughs> no, that was haunted good. I like that. I like that a lot. That was good. I don't know. I think that was worth the price of admission. But I'm a crazy masochist who likes things that hurts his thumbs. <laughs> No, I, I liked that a lot. I like I like Chapter 9. I don't know. You're right, Jackson. I don't know if I'm going to be eager to do it again, but I definitely did like it. I, I really did, actually. I liked a lot yeah. of it. I only died 6,588 times. Oh, well, yep. There it is. Jesus Christ. Well, Jackson. Yep. I believe. Actually, try. See what happens. Try to try to take the Limburger. Move your. Move oh, your try to take thing. the Limburger from you. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah from me. Because I don't know. Actually, do so. Do I just have the seasides unlocked now? Um, that's a good or, point. Uh, did, I, did I need to? 
do something for that. Yeah, go back to like level one, for example. Let's see if you have climb. Nope. No, for some reason. I... Oh, you, so have to beat is... all the, you have to beat all the B side. That's what it was. Oh, and I don't have the B and side. And whenever I actually core. beat. Yeah, we never actually beat the core. I also got a weird. So this is odd. Why is there no record for the summit when I definitely beat the summit? Oh, uh, you didn't do it in. You must have saved. You must have returned to the map. So you didn't do it in one, uh, like, uh, session. That makes sense. That's weird that also it doesn't record my fewest deaths, though. Oh, uh, I mean, it's the oh, same. Oh, in deal. one session. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got yeah. you. And this one. So what? what is this page for that I can do this? Uh, that's just, I mean, it's just all the A set hearts and B set hearts, and there's nothing into this page besides just putting them in whatever order you want to see them. Why would I, why would I want, well, I mean, it's neat, I guess, but... John, you have any, any, any idea, any, any reason why they would want you to, to organize these? <laughs> Maybe it's like one of those fridge magnet things where if you put them in a certain order, you can make a sentence. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, we have two things that we could do this here for, Jackson, is we either switch over to your Parsec or Dick's, Dick's, Dick's cord, watch you do <laughs> it on yours, dick. or... We'll go over to the next thing I do have planned. I do have it ready. Uh, I mean, it's it's in your hands, ultimately. Um, I'd be happy to show off some seasides, but I also don't need to do all, all of them. Or, yeah, you know. I'd be down to see some. I'm, I'm curious. I mean, like I said, uh, and, and I don't have them, and I don't plan on doing the B-side for core anytime soon, so I, I, I'd be down to at least see them. So, uh, sure. I would say the best way to handle this will be to probably parsec it. Okay. Uh, so. My parsec is open because I was in your computer. And I'm getting into your computer now. Computar. Pitar. All right. Uh, there are a few seasides I'm not super duper ultra super great at, so I'm down to skip them. Uh, I'm okay at chapter ones. Am I uh, cleared to go, by the way? Yep, I got you up. Your game is kind of quiet, but that'd be the only thing. Oh. Bump yeah, bump me... your audio up a little bit. Yeah, I had mine at like five. Okay, that's good. Cool. Well, damn. That was Let's yeah. See. That was that was cool. I'm I'm glad that I got through that though. That might be between that and Super Mario Three. Those might be the two hardest platforming challenge games I've I've completed. God damn. Yeah. What a good game. Uh, did did you ever try Chapter Nine, Sean, or how far did uh, you go? I tried to stop part way through it. Gotcha was not uh, worth it to me. Fair enough. I do find that interesting because that will be something that will come up here soon, actually, because I would say that the next thing that we're going to do, I actually recommend that we do play it on the easiest difficulty because Believe it or not, I think I played it on normal, and it might be the hardest game I've played of its type, so... <laughs> mm. At least from my experience, that, ge the, the, that game hard as fuck, so... <laughs> um, what... It, where, where do you... Where do... Would you say you draw the line when it comes to difficulty for stuff like this? I mean, it's very personal, or, or, or like, mm. situational. If I'm not having a good time and I don't foresee myself having a good time anytime soon, then it's probably not worth my time. Fair enough. There has to be a lot on the line for me to try past the point that I'm just not enjoying it anymore. Gotcha. Cause yeah, I mean, I, I would say I definitely um... 
I, I like I I definitely enjoyed uh how far I got like in this and looking at this I mean that jump is really rough. Holy shit. That jump is mean. That's a really mean jump. If I can clear that jump then I've then I've finished this chapter. Mm-hmm. I'll actually give uh, Celeste credit though for like what it does. It it um it does feel like rock climbing. This game does somehow make fantasy rock climbing. Which is weird. <laughs> and I like rock climbing. Just haven't done there it in a go. long time. Nice. Oh my god. Oh no. Dang it. <laughs> that was right. so goddamn fast. Uh, uh, lost my grip. And yeah, I liked that ending. What did you, you think of the ending, though, Sean? I, I liked that. Uh, I mean, I've seen it before, but yeah, I mean, it's it's solid. Yeah. I uh, I appreciated what it was going for. Actually, kind of. Uh, I mean, like, I liked the ending of the main game too, and I I think I kind of liked that ending a little bit more. Even is nice. Uh. I liked what it was going for too, and I liked the, I liked the, the, for for all of the fantasy elements of the game that it just kind of, is just like, you know, uh, uh, it not, it not being as grounded for lack of a better term. I I kind of liked that the game acknowledged that, that sequence was only so hard because really none of it was real. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing as the base game, where, like, mm -hmm. it's hard because it's a personal, emotional thing, not just because it's physically difficult. Yeah, and I like that. I feel like that's something that I appreciate when a game can pull it off, and I, I definitely think Celeste pulls off uh, an element of that. Um... Yeah, no. That is... Why do they get rid of the floor? I liked it better when the game had a floor, though. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, man. They you've just, they're just the, like, what you've if got no the floor? gold strawberry on that, you freaking maniac. Yep. yep. Is the music also different for the seaside? Uh, no, it's the same as the b-sides. Gotcha. I mean, that would be impressive, but that would be so much more, I think, even with Seasides considered. Were Seasides also original content, or were they, like, added later? I believe they're original. Oh, okay. Like, obviously, I know that they're not a mod, but I didn't know if they were in the, like, base game or if they were added after the f after release. I want to say, I, I actually, I, I guess I couldn't tell you for sure. I guess when I bought the game, and I probably bought it a year or two after release, mm -hmm. uh, they were already there. So the only, as far as I ever remembered hearing about, the only ever, like, big DLC patch was Chapter 9. Oh? Yeah, Chapter 9 was not released when I had it. Yeah, the only example I can think of that is, uh, holy shit. Jesus Christ. Uh, Chapter 2 I've practiced. The, the only example I can think of that is, um, uh, something like that is, weirdly enough, uh, uh, Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight has surprisingly, like, added a shit ton of content since its release that I was like, oh my god. I still have- have you messed with the boss rush at all, Sean? Because it- it isn't just a boss rush, from my understanding. <laughs> Not really. I, th this is fascinating. I don't know how this is the second time in a week that I've been asked that question. <laughs> That's true, because I asked you, like, I asked you just, like, a few days ago. Wait, have you been playing Hollow Knight, Jackson? No, but we- I, I don't remember why I brought it up, even. Yeah, that's... Um, I think that we were talking about, like, what games we're good at, and you were like, 
well, you've done all the like boss rush stuff in Hollow Knight, right? And I was like, hell no, I haven't. Uh huh. Like I've seen it is I've seen its existence, and I went, this clearly feels like like New Game Plus or another playthrough content. I don't have the mental capacity for this. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool, I though. mean, it's clearly just, like, bonus content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm sort of in the same place where I'm like, it's neat that it exists. I don't have any particular interest in it, but it's neat. And I think boss rushes are neat. I don't think I've ever beaten, like, a real-ass boss rush that wasn't, like, a mandatory one in a game. I don't think I've done an actual boss rush. Gotten close, I feel like couple times in a couple games the the toho the toho game that i the only toho game i played has a boss rush that's actually kind of neat i like it because that whole game is about bosses you said this was 30 minutes and i'm pretty sure you're gonna do this in a lot less than 30 minutes my guy <laughs> i skipped chapter three and four i can go back and do them oh no you're good i did even read <laughs> it's because you don't like chapter three yeah <laughs> I, I actually i, I practiced all the seasides i think i've i think i've done them all without dying at, at some point i'm just not as you. practiced with the uh i won't make you play your least favorite level i won't no that's fine i, I can go back and play oh no, no you don't gotta you don't gotta I, I just i just know you wanted to get on to the next thing so was, i was like I was, I was like, all right, which ones are the are the bestest ones? Yeah, do those. Do the ones you like. That's fine. So I was going to do chapter one, two, uh, one, two, five, six, seven, and then not chapter eight. Yeah. I find, I find bonus content like this really fascinating because I just have a lot of, like, memories of a lot of games with bonus content like this and I always even forget sometimes that you know it does it still gets made it does exist my favorite example being uh, Metal Gear Solid 3's this is not spoilers the bonus content is right there at the beginning for some reason they just have ape escape in Metal Gear Solid 3 for some reason and it's great it's completely fleshed out and everything and it's just ape escape <laughs> Mm-hmm. I do love that. Uh-huh. I love stuff That like feels that. like a, we had extra room on the disc, so what the hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What would be your favorite example of bonus content is, Sean? Bonus content. Hmm. I, I feel like I forget who I was just talking about this with. I have a very uh, sort of averse <laughs> relationship with like DLC and stuff. I right. think I think that was also with me. We were talking about Cuphead DLC and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Even if I love the game, like most of the time when I get to the end, I'm like satisfied with the conclusion and with the being over and I'm ready to move on. So I mm. often don't do the DLC or bonus content or whatever, even for games I love, uh, including Cuphead. Although I don't think I, I, I didn't have, I don't think the DLC was out for Cuphead at the time that I played it. Yeah, no, gotcha. they, they, they did that one uh, later. But I also, you know, haven't gone back for it. But awesome. like same thing with The Witcher 3. I just did this with Cyberpunk. Like I enjoyed Cyberpunk. Um and I've heard good things about Phantom Liberty. Did not yeah, even great. for a second uh stop to consider whether I should do that or not. Now that brings up a curious question. Uh El Elden Ring's DLC cuz I feel like Souls games DLC are weird in that cuz you played Artorius, right? You played the other DLCs, yes, I believe. I would say that Artorius is like one of the best DLCs or like bonus content or whatever you want to call it uh, mm -hmm. that I've ever played. I also am a big fan of the DLCs for Oblivion, a game that I no longer uh, I no longer am affiliated with that game. I no longer. Uh -huh. I no vouch longer for that game. I no longer break bread with that game. It was a. Uh -huh. it, we were past. It was a past friendship, but we no longer talk. Uh, Is there uh, something I'm not aware of? 
It's just not a very good game. Oh. Is this, is this something I don't know about you? Is this something yeah, that was... we don't know about you and Oblivion, Jackson? Well, it was just, it was like, because I understand with stuff like, like, Lizard when all that happened, because that was a big heartbreak. Yeah, yeah, that's very different. Yeah, that uh, was so like... The, the DLCs yeah. for Oblivion, though, are fantastic. Knights of the Nine is still one of my, maybe my all-time favorite quest in any video game. I am. It's so good. I do find it funny when you brought up our, uh, when we were talking about Artorius. It is, in retrospect, very odd how they decided to implement that. Dark Souls 1 still continues to be, if nothing else, the strangest game I might have ever played in that series, just because so much of it influenced its later ones, but yet so much of it is missing in its successors. It, it, like, who thought it would be a good idea to implement their paid DLC in the most cryptic way possible? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not weird in retrospect. That's always been weird. Uh-huh. Um, it's... <sighs> Dark Souls... Part of what makes Dark Souls such a strange beast is because it tries a lot of shit. They have yeah, a lot of really ideas does. with Dark Souls that they really, like, pushed. And one of them is this idea that the game is, like, meant to be played as a community, not as an individual. Right. So I think that's the idea behind the DLC is that, like, it's this big secret for people to find. But I don't... One, I don't remember that ever being a thing that the community, like, engaged with meaningfully. Right. Uh, and two, as you said, it's bizarre to do that with a DLC you have to explicitly pay to own. Yup. Yeah. But aside think... from the uh, stupid way that you get access to it, it's head and shoulders better than the actual content of the base game. Yes, it is by far some of the best DLC in the entire series. Next to, do you, have you ever gotten a chance to play the, the, the Hunter's Dream? Because it's phenomenal. Um, I want to say yes, but I don't know how that could have happened, because I don't think I own it. Hmm. So I'm going to say no. I forget, is the Orphan of Koss? That is, is that... the DLC. Okay, somehow I've played it. I don't know. Maybe I got it digitally at some point. Hmm. Also, yeah. uh, Chapter 7 is substan like by far the hardest seaside of them all. I mean, I it can is, tell. There's it is, not not so much as there's no floor, but there's also just nothing. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I remember this took me like two to four hours to get it the first time. It'll take me another three to four minutes, maybe. Oh, uh, gosh. Especially that, when I do stuff like that. That part is really rough. There's an entire second half I haven't really gotten to yet. Yeah, I feel like bonus features and like, and again, and, and like just silly cheats. The cheats are the silliest thing to me because, in retrospect, they were probably just like the dev team fucking around and being like, "Wouldn't it be funny?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of old cheats were straight up dev tools. Mm-hmm. Like level skips and stuff. Yup. And it makes sense to be able to like properly play test because you can't continually play through a game over and over again to make sure it works. I mean, that would be effective, but it would be mind-numbing and inefficient as hell. Oh... This jump right here is the jump that stresses me out maybe the most. That, that oh, little... Yeah. that pixel. And also this to a certain extent. Oh my oh, god. Geez. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it's, it definitely is something, and, and I mean, like, we're at a weird point, I would say, that continually the community of video games has continued to, because I feel like so many people have drifted away from, like, main 
mainstream main company triple a outside of a few exceptions that you know it's weird how how th features like that are something that as far as i know are just not as much a thing anymore and it's usually uh, because they sell it instead yeah which is upsetting <laughs> have you gotten any uh any wind of the extremely stupid controversy about the Dragon Dogma 2 DLC or microtransactions or whatever? I have, of specifically the microtransactions being. Ooh! Oh! Content! It's fun, I believe that it's over, isn't it? Funny how we get attached to the struggle. Promise me you'll take care of yourself, okay? Well, <laughs> I did. I couldn't promise it. I couldn't well, make I'm the promise. The, I'm glad the game isn't so mean to say do it again. Yeah. And there you go. I like that. You know what? If nothing else, thank you, Jackson, for pushing for that. I think that's the best way to send off Celeste. Yeah. Also, to your point, Isaac, um, I'm looking over my list because I try to maintain a list of my favorite games. Uh, and of the games that I have listed in my like top tier, mm -hmm. there is only one that is a triple AAA game from the last 10 years, and it's The Witcher 3, which is nine years old. <laughs> yeah. So that's interesting. That's more about me than about the game industry, probably, but... Because mm -hmm. I played games that I like from that time. Um, the Resident Evil 2 make is close. Um, the Last of Us 2 is close. But, you know. Is what it is. Now, we do World's Most Awkward transition because I have a su <laughs> surprise. I have a surprise. Oh, nothing. I have a surprise. Uh, Do we have to get back in your computer now? Now you have to, you, you have to get in my computer again. <laughs> Re-enter the machine. I have pressed button. Re-enter the machine. So, everyone, surprise, surprise, I have found very recently, as of, I believe, last year, um, and we've talked about this a little bit, uh, there has finally been a full translation of a game that I've streamed once before that I think is a very fascinating game that I just so, oh, desperately want someone else to play as well to discuss it with, but also a full, a full, uh, English crack is available for it now. Uh, and I really want to know what you guys think of it. Uh, so welcome everyone to, uh, uh, a very fascinating game. Let me pull it up. Welcome to one hour of. Uh huh. One to one to one and a half hours of Ace Combat Three. Uh, we did. Uh, I want to say this was actually really early on that I streamed this game, like a long time ago. Um, like one of the first game or not one of the first games but it was like within the first two years that I actually streamed this game um and it's really interesting and really fascinating um i i i'm curious what you guys will think of it and what's going to be en extra interesting is i do highly recommend we do all the playthroughs it's the only game because the game is a single playthrough is not very long to begin with and the game feels designed that to get the full experience you'll want to play all five endings <laughs> 
So you yeah. said you wanted us to pass the paddle. If we're doing all five endings or doing multiple endings for multiple playthroughs, like why don't we just each do a playthrough? Yeah. Y y yes. 